welcome to Sarah Stamper Retreat. Today we're going to be making a Mother's Day card using this Mother's Day stamp set and this Honey Rose stamp set, both from Polka Doodles. And I thought we'd create a circular card today. So I'm going to start off by stamping some of the elements we're going to use on our card. So these stamps are super easy to use. You've got the outline and then you've got one, two and three. And then we're going to do um, the leaves, which just has one, two and three. And then you've got the butterfly, um, which you've got this one, you've got the infill and you've got this kind of um, like wash as well. And then the bee has this piece and kind of a wash to go with that as well. So I'm going to just stamp them quite quickly. I'm only going to do one of each because I've already done a few of these in advance. You didn't have to watch me do them all. And these ones come out really nicely. So I've stamped the first layer with Alter New Jet Black Ink and then I've got Pink Diamond, Pink Alicious and Rubelite for the other layers. So with layering stamp sets, um, you usually start with the lightest colour first. So I'm going to start with the Pink Diamond first. And this one's just going to colour the image, so I'm just going to line that up over the top. And then here I've got the Pink Alicious. And then finally I'm going to go in with the Rubelite. So I'm going to use the Jet Black for all of the outlines. And then I'm going to go with the Parrot and the Moss on the leaf. So then I'm going to use the Persian Blue for the butterfly. I've stamped two butterflies, but to be honest, I'm not really sure whether I'll use them both or not. And also, I'm not really sure whether I want to use this extra layer on the butterfly, so I'm going to stamp it on one of them and see how it looks. So I'm going to stamp that one in sapphire. I think I prefer it without, so I'm going to leave that on the other one. With the B, I don't want the kind of splodgy effect like this, so I'm just going to colour it in. So I'm going to use this ochre yellow Altenew marker. And I'm just going to use my scissors to cut these out. So now you can see I've added in the ones that I did earlier. So I've got a heap of flowers and leaves and little insects to play with. So the final bit of stamping I want to do is on this circle. So this circle measures roughly three and a half inches. And I want to use this Happy Mother's Day. So I'm going to set that up on here. It's my stamp position tool. So I'm just going to pop this here. And then I can line up the stamps I want them on to here. And the mother and the S are in two different parts on this so that you can use either mother or mothers. I think what I might do is stamp mother and then decide whether I, where I want the S afterwards. And I want a nice deep black print on that so I'm going to do it again. And then position the happy in the day. So then I want to make a circle card blank. So I've got a six inch circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that at half an inch and cut half an inch off. And then the other side, and then I'm going to Line that up at four and three quarter inches there, and I'm just going to score that across. So then I can bend the top of that. So then I'm going to add some glue above this line here. So then what I want to do is to arrange the flowers and the leaves around the circle. So 
Then I've got my Happy Mother's Day sentiment and I've got a circle cut from Blackstone's cardstock that's about a quarter of an inch bigger. So I'm just going to glue those together. And then I'm going to pop some foam pads behind this. And then I want to make sure that this is on straight, so I'm going to make sure I line this up on my mat so that I know that which way it's facing. And then I can make sure that my sentiment goes up the right way. And then just bent the um, wings up on my butterfly. And I'm going to add that just here. And then I'm going to do the same on the... I'm just going to add it on using the body and then there we go that's our circle layered Mother's Day card I really hope that you enjoyed today's card if you did I'd appreciate you clicking like below you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos if you press the bell button and select all then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available all of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below and there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope to see you again soon.